enormous spending power, $2.5 trillion. trillion. Also in the workplace, I mean, by 2025, three out of every four workers globally will what we currently call millennials. By anybody's definition, they are pretty much the market that you're going to be focusing on really from here on in. It's also, as I mentioned, one of the most talked about generations of all time. This was part of my concern. I was reading so much all the time, and so much of it is actually conflicting. So you get a lot of very positive things written and a lot of very negative things written. So you know, how, you know, how, how can we actually try to understand who millennials really are and what can we do with that particular piece of information? Moving on. Most of what you do read tends to be negative. Um, people, you know, a, lo a lot of very sort of negative adjectives, lazy, uh, purposeless, and so on. But when you actually look at it, there's really not, there's a lot that is not different. I mean, this is a quote from uh, the 8th century BC. When I was a boy, we were taught to be discreet and respectful of elders, but the present youth are exceedingly unwise and impatient of restraint by Hesiod. I mean, I think every generation probably has the exact same perception on the generation coming through that there is on this particular one. So nothing new there. We're, we're a bit short on time, so we'll have to limit it to, to, to one question. Mm. Um, Michael, just thinking of, um, of millennials as you described them and keeping that, look, putting that in perspective with, with respect to the theme of our conference here today, which is growth opportunities. Mm. Now, what would be your, your, your one piece of advice to marketers here uh, in terms of leveraging growth opportunities with that, with that new generation? There's only one thing that I think really, certainly if I'm speaking to the agency community, um, as opposed, well, I, I, actually to anybody, but certainly to, to the agencies, I think by far and away the most important thing is to understand the people whom you're advising because every, every organization is different and at the end of the day, you've got to understand what is actionable as opposed to what you've read somewhere looks like a good idea, but the firm itself has got no chance of actually implementing properly. It's been absolutely the thing in my role that I've had to try and understand because quite frankly, you know, if we had a portfolio of brands and we were a brands organization, the whole conversation would be very, very different. So again, you've got to try and drill down to what actually can we do with this information that we've got uh, that is actually going to make a difference? And sometimes it means you're not necessarily going with the most creative idea, but it might be, again, being reflective of Mark's point, the most purposeful thing that you do is to actually do something that moves the agenda along and then brings other audiences within that firm into the, in, in, into the tent rather than questioning all the time what it is you're trying to do. Thank you very much, Michael.